What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Venomcast. It's your boy, John K., driver of the number two Fago Ford F-150. We are here. This is my room back here, but uh, we're in the fictitious <laughs> Fago recording studio. Uh, if you can't tell, I like Fago because I like to drink pop and rip the top at tracks. Um, <laughs> this man over here, I pointed the right way for once in my life. That. Look at you. Is your Venom Season 3 points champion, driver of the number 15, Buffalo Wild Wings F-150, my teammate, sort of, kind of, technically aligned, technically aligned. Ali alliance mate? <laughs> alliance that mate, something. That sounds like owner. you're mate of alliance. Owner. Alliance mate. Owner of RNS Motorsports. <laughs> Mr. Ryan die. Um, I said uh, this is our not much. We're we we're gonna act like this isn't the second time recording this. We were only through race two, so it's it's all good. That is true. We were only through race two, but to catch the people up, sitting here with the man who brought home the big trophy, finally after watching your best friend and co-owner. Mr. Nathan Reynolds do it twice. Ryan said, I want one of those for my own. Kicked Nathan in the back and Hard made, him, back. made him miss half the season. Not that that's the reason I not that that's the reason you want. Honestly, if Nathan's around, I and you've run as well as you do, he just runs himself into trouble at times. I think I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he it won would, a couple races. It would have been a hell of a fight. Um I think. I just finished second to him at Texas, and we were talking. He was like, "This happens a lot. We run one two. and I went back and looked through the history of this league, and it, I think that was only the second time it ever happened. It feels like it happens a lot, but Wait, I feel like it does happen a lot. You do have one on him where you finished one, and he finished two. Then I do, and yeah, that was the other Dover. one. That's the only Dover. other time. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Uh, Dover season two. Ryan has one of the most emotional wins in Venom history. I think that is that is very nice. I like that a lot. I need to get me one of them. Oh, Dover. Yeah. That's it even comes with this. That's Every nice. win comes with this inaugural match patch from the Charlotte FC. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna get one of those because I'm not really. Soccer. Um, not really. <laughs> but I just keep it there for its safekeeping until I can get a jersey to to uh, iron it on. Uh, Ryan, a big Charlotte sports fan. Every Charlotte sport. Are oh, you repping the Panthers? I see that. And you like yeah. the Hornets. They don't yeah. like baseball, and you don't like baseball, anyways. If but if they had a base, if they had a major league baseball team, maybe I would like baseball. And you hate the racetrack that's there, so only on i racing. Only on i racing. Uh, but the stats and only the oval. <sighs> yeah, the row. I like. I I'm cool with the row hole. I like the row hole. Fun. The stats that got this man the championship, one win on the season at Kentucky in what was one of the more exciting endings of a race that we had this season. And we had quite a handful of good ones. Uh, it, I mean, it, doesn't it. Live, it doesn't quite live up to Talladega, but it was fun. I don't, nothing's ever going to live up to Talladega, I don't think. Six second place finishes, which is mind-boggling in itself that you finished in the same place six different times, let alone being runner-up on the podium. I think Paul Ellison's the only other person with multiple finishes in the same position, and it was seventh, and he did it three times. I don't know how that happens. Um, but you started out the season on fire, which helped you start to build your gap. Three straight top two finishes going second, second, and then first with the win at Kentucky. And then backed it up with a sixth place at iRacing Super Speedway, which we will talk about momentarily. An average finish of 3.38. Um, that hurts my brain. I don't think I could ever do that. 10 top fives, 13 top tens, which is more top tens in a season than I have in two seasons. And the most astonishing fact of this all is Ryan ran every lap that Venom ticked off this season. He did not finish a lap down ever. He finished every race, and he finished them all on the lead lap. No worse than seventh place. 
Like, it sounds what? really good when you say all these all these numbers, and it's like, oh, Think that was a really it. that was a really good season. <laughs> Just you know, <laughs> only holds the record for the best average finish, the most top fives, and the most top tens, which. We didn't think would ever be bested. It could only be tied, but we will get into later that there are changes coming. There's, I told you guys, there's a lot of exciting stuff to talk about. That might have been in the other intro. It doesn't matter. There's a lot of exciting stuff to talk about coming up into season number four. Um, Man, what a season, though. Uh, craziness. A, a lot of stress. A lot of stressing, at least to us, it seemed like. Um, I know you're obviously worried about the plate tracks because they are plate tracks. If you're not scared, you're dumb. Um, I mean, it was just, it was a magical season. You and Andy at the end of the season, Andy started to reel you back in a little bit. And uh, he made it interesting going into the last couple of races. He did. Uh, he won Talladega. Uh, I think I finished seventh there. Uh, so that is a, what, a 13 point swing ish. Uh, which doesn't seem like a lot, but it I mean, it is. Um, it, it's easy to go from, you know, being 40 up to suddenly being 27 up and in there within a the race. So yeah, he, he put pressure there on the end. Um, certainly, made, Wilkesboro was uh, ner- nerve-wracking, especially uh, after the late race drama, which I'm sure we'll get to later. Yeah, uh, yeah I mean, I, Andy and I are so similar it's from a statistics standpoint. Um, and I, I can actually, I can tell you just how how statistically close we are. We have the exact same amount of start, starts in Venom. We both have, let me make sure I'm not lying to you. Where's Andy? There he is. Oh, no, we don't want you to lie to us. I definitely don't <laughs> lie at all. There you go. We both have 37 career starts. I have six poles. He has three poles. He has five wins. I have two wins. So those are the biggest things. But then in our 37 starts, we each have 20 top fives. Uh, I have 29 top tens. He has 27 top tens. Do you have, so, those, stat- do you have those stats for everybody in the league? Uh, well, I, I'm currently working on season previews for season four, and I'm doing everybody's career stats. Oh, so very nice. I just very nice. So uh, I, I will eventually have the career stats of everybody, yes. Uh, but I saw those two, and I was like, wow, we are – almost mirror images of each other. Uh, and and that, that showed last season. I mean, we're the top two um, by, by a pretty wide gap back to Carson. Uh, and Andy's going to win a championship. It, it, it's not it's not an if, it's a win. Yeah, uh, I mean... It really, it really just comes down to, you know, he needs some luck, and I have plenty of that, as people say, I have a horseshoe in my race shop, so... Uh, maybe he'll find the horseshoe this season. I don't know. It might be a little closer than the race shop. Um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, when you when we go anywhere, it doesn't matter what kind of track, road course, intermediate, short track, you know, uh, super speedway. There's three guys in the league that a lot of people look to. It is you, Andy, and Nathan, um, the three top dogs, going to be in the top five no matter where we go. Um, if you don't start the race there, you're going to find your way there somehow. Uh, you have speed everywhere. I aspire to be like you guys. I'm working on it slowly but surely. Emphasis on the slowly because I'm slow. Um, you got to win. Hey, you got to hey, win. We'll get there. We'll get there. Um, very Spoiler proud of alert. that. Spoiler alert. So I guess it's only fair, right? We go through the season and break down every race real quick. Yeah. I mean, we've got a lot to go through. Um, we've got season three that we'll kind of rewrap up now that we're talking with the champ. We'll talk about season four. We will talk about there's some big news, some big stuff. Big happening. news. Big news happening in Venom. Um, well, let's let's get started, man. I'm pumped. Right. I uh, there was a lot of stuff that happened this season. It feels like the beginning of the season was forever ago. Um, well, if you think about it, it was in February, so... Yeah, it was. We're now in May, so... Well, <laughs> it says 118 here. Oh, so it's in January. We started the it season in, in January. It was in January. It feels like even it feels like years ago at this point. Um, <laughs> a lot of stuff happened. Uh, but we took a trip to the Milwaukee Mile for the Quick Trip 120, presented by the NBA champion Milwaukee Bucks. Ryan Dye... 
starts out on a heater, finishing P2 to Andy Politsky. Garrett Rainey finishes third. Um, man, Garrett had a lot of speed there. I would not have been nearly as good as I was. And I'm not saying I was very good, but I would not. I would have been like last if Garrett hadn't helped me out. So shout out Garrett. Um, if he doesn't get kind of roughed up by a lapper, I think he has a good chance of winning that race also. Uh, we spent the whole last half of it under caution, which sucked for me because I had good long runs. Yeah, we did. We uh, we went the whole first half of the race without a caution. And then it was like one happened and we opened the floodgates and there was like nine that, in, the last, in the last 50 laps. And we just it, you know, paced around for a while. It was fourth down on every restart. Um, <laughs> That's a really good analogy. <laughs> thank you. Uh, next, we went to the Hoosier State. Lucas Oil, Indianapolis Raceway Park. Whatever you want to call it. K9's United 140. Uh, 13 Nate, cautions. 13 <laughs> cautions. And Billy Badbutt reigns supreme. Kind of. Ryan Dye dominates the day, leading 84 laps. But again, comes home the bridesmaid. Nathan Reynolds makes his mark on the season, letting everybody know that it's not just going to be Andy and Ryan with Tyler Bentley coming in third to round out the podium. A race that arguably you, you should have won, uh, but a teammate did you a little dirty after he was begged to come back and turn laps. Um, <laughs> I don't blame you at all. I blame myself. <laughs> you I brought out a yellow, um, but it was my fault for not paying attention to the fact that they had opened... Uh, we had not caught the pace car yet, and they opened the uh, the pit. Pit road, yeah. I was um, just starting to get in a groove, too, man. That's the part that sucked. That pit road is so tricky, too, because you have to enter from the back stretch. So uh, by the time I realized it was what was happening, it was it was, it was too late. I was going to have to go through grass and probably spin out in front of the whole field. And then, well, uh, so I, I missed pit road, first. lost my lead. But one of the things that, um, that actually is a kind of a saving grace that happened there is that track's so small. By the time I got back around into the pits, I was lapping people. Um, and they did my pit stop and came back out. And I think I actually ended up catching a few people lap, laps, a lap down, which was not a popular thing. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. That's not the first um, time that, that happened at Milwaukee, too. I missed I missed pit, ex, pit entrance, and I stayed out for a lap, let a lap, and denied a bunch of people a wave around. Yep. Because I'm uh, an idiot. I think I came out after I missed the pits. You know, if this was on a mile and a half and you and you missed the pits, you had all the way around. You're coming out last, right? But in this case, I think it came out fifth, something like that, six, something like that, fifth or sixth. So it could have been worse. Uh, I, I, I would have liked to have won that, that race, but P two at the end of the day is not bad. That race was a mess, anyways. I'm glad we're <laughs> never going back ever again. And oh, we are guys, going back. If you guys vote for it, I will find you and I will. Be very disappointed. We're going back. <laughs> Race three, Kentucky Speedway. ICR presents the operation finally home 165. And RNS Superkick flex their muscles a little bit. Okay, well, RNS flex their muscle a little bit. Uh, Superkick got lucky. Uh, Ryan, your one and only win of the year. Garrett finishes a quarter of a truck ahead of me for second place. And I come home third after. A chaotic end of the race. Caution came out really late, like four laps ago, two laps ago, something crazy. We had a green-white checker restart. It was two to go? Two to go. Green-white checker restart, and then a caution between the leaders there kind of kind of gives you one, but also well-deserved because you have to be there. Backed right into it. <laughs> Alex Bowman uh, on his way into the victory lane. Yeah, so, so the leaders are going into three... Um, coming to take the white and two lap cars wreck in front of them in four. So bunches of filled up. Uh, we have a green white checker and on that green white checker uh, tires, no tires. There was a lot of, a lot of co competing factors. Uh, the, the leaders uh, wrecked each other and opened the, uh, the floodgates for me. And on the second green white checker, luckily nobody wrecked and I was able to drive home <clears throat> and win it. But I think I was more excited that you know to have Garrett P two behind me, and then you know you you drove from like seventh or eighth up to third uh, in you know, two laps. Um, so also, we were we were just as excited that you finished third as we were that I won. 
um, also missed a really big wreck, and I really don't know how I did it still. Yes, um, you did. That was yes. that was sketchy. That was. I that wish was, we had footage to show from it. Cause I <laughs> wish we did. I wish I had. I wish I hadn't deleted it trying to fix my PC. Um, yeah, that race. Oh man, I had again good long run speed, but I got hit at some point by a teammate, and uh, yeah, it was struggle there for a while, but reeled it back in. Um, I loved Kentucky. Kentucky's such a fun track. It's just Tex- Texas, but backwards. It was surprisingly more fun than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, and uh, the part that surprised me the most was the middle groove in three and four was faster than the bottom, where the bottom had been faster the whole time. But then I found, like, all the practices, the bottom groove was quickest, and then come race time, we find out the middle groove's the way to go. The track yeah. changed. It rubbered it up. Changed. It changed. We had fun. Um, I racing Super Speedway, the Venom World sixty five. Caution free at a Super Speedway, and not just any Super Speedway. The sketchiest Super Speedway there is. Very sketchy because somebody flipped. I and, hate that. Uh, when we still didn't get a yellow because somebody flipped onto pit road out of harm's I, way. I uh no, they flipped onto the bottom lane, but they very quickly left the race. Yeah, whatever. Um, I hate this place with a passion. I hope it burns in hell. Um, well, guess guess what? We're probably going to go back next week. Um, I'm going to be oh, sick that race. Uh, Carson Mitchell takes home his first career Venom win. Jeremy McKinnon, Andy Poliski, Chad Stearns had a chance at winning that one. Ryan somehow comes home with a P6. Uh, you were very far back <laughs> and uh, in some trouble. Like you and you and like, Garrett like were twenty five seconds back. Yeah, in <laughs> a lot of trouble. There was there was chaos happening at the start finish line as they were taking the checkers, and Garrett and I were going into turn three. <laughs> we were like, "What's happening up there?" Um, I think we were ninth and tenth though, going into turn three, and we finished sixth and seventh. So hey, yeah, that's the way to do it. Uh, good job sticking in there. Where did Andy finish? Oh, Andy finished fourth. I already said his name. Um, there's a reoccurring theme. You and Andy just. Top fives, top fives, top tens, very high top tens. Um, and then we go to Auto Club, the crownawards.com 75. Ryan, I think you have a crownawards.com award. Do you not? I do. You do. You should show it off. I have the two. People. There's one. Most popular driver. Yes. Is, oh, you're talking yours? about your award. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> you're going to, UK, you get one this season. I do get and one. Then, this and then this one. Yeah, those are awesome trophies. Um, they're pretty big too. I mean, they're yeah, they're good size. I mean, solid I'm, ten inches. I'm very <laughs> excited. <laughs> hey, you're the one that took it there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, very. Ex- <laughs> Anyways, Andy Politsky wins a battle of strategy. I hated this race. This race. Strategy. I did Wait, not. So this went green. This went green the whole way too, right? I did. Yeah, it did. I did yeah. not have a. I had a really good first. I didn't. I. It was my beginning of my season was hit or miss. It was hit then miss and then hit then miss. Literally hit and miss. Um, I ended up finishing twelve, but strategy not, strategy was finished. wild. Fourth? You finished sixth. You were the first sixth. of the okay. people on. You were the first of the two stoppers. Yeah, two uh, stop didn't work. No, it did not. Which, again, I'm very frustrated by still. You know what I'm I, more proud of about that race? I got the pole of that race. And that was my pole? first ever, yeah, and that was my first ever non dirt pole. That's pretty impressive. Um, I, was Andy, I was actually shocked. Andy Politsky comes home with the win. He led 33 laps. Michael Crawl finished second. Michael freaking Crawl, dude. Michael Crawl is a beast. Driver of the 11. Uh, happy to have him around. Megastar Michael Crawl. Uh, if that's not in your preseason. We'll get to him in a minute. If that's not in your preseason thing, I'm going to be pissed. Uh, I'll not say Megastar, but it, it says some words about him. A really a really <laughs> decent top five by Kyle Zittle. God, that man is a really decent driver. He's extremely really decent. Um, really decent. <laughs> 
Kyle, I love Calvin. Kyle, we love you. Uh, even though you smell like cheese because you're from Wisconsin. Um, just in case nobody gets the... No, well, just in case you don't get the joke. But then we go to Japan. And Ryan Dai was not supposed to be here, ladies and gentlemen. And then he connects with about 15 seconds left in practice. Or qualify. I don't know. It was practice. And then you laid down the fastest time anybody saw all week. Uh, it was the John K's birthday takes over Japan 140. And you set, you sat on the pole by, I think, two tenths. I did. <laughs> um, I was... Ugh, I don't I don't like talking about the oval very much. I had a very not good birthday. Um but Carson again he got the win at the super speedway and then he comes out at a very difficult track and he put on a show. He led thirty nine laps, you led forty three and you finished in second and you you made it he made you drive crazy on that last that last lap coming to the checker. He and I had a, had a battle for the ages. Uh, really fun. Um, he, he uh, you know, always can say he. Sometimes you know you beat yourself, but in this case, he just hit me flat. He outdrove me. Um, he did everything he had to do. I think we're going down. The one time I had a shot, I got inside of him, and he ran me not to the wall, but pretty close to the wall, uh, the pit wall on the inside. Uh, it made sure that my entrance to turn one, and it's such a flat track, it's a long turn. He made sure my entrance to turn one was going to be way too shallow, uh, and did exactly. And he jumped back up at the last second to get the right arc in. So, um, yeah, I, I just didn't have it. I he spun my tires, got loose coming off of two, and that was all it took. So, uh, I mean, he did everything right um, the, those last couple laps there, uh, and still, yeah, I, I might have finished second, but it was. Maybe one of the most fun races I had all year, just by how hard we drove. And uh, I would also like to point out, insert coin, insert coin, four, five, six, Michael Dean, Mike Crawl, Jan Van Leer. Um, I didn't even realize they did that. Cole Maxwell finished ninth too. All, all four, insert coins, uh, in the top ten. That was a pretty awesome moment. And then it got even awesomer. You could say the coins were fully inserted. They were definitely inserted. In uh, the second race, the after party spectacular under the rising sun, Michael freaking crawl, dude. Um, quite possibly the moment of the year. I I think some people would vote that the moment yeah. of the year. Um, I would vote that the moment of the year for sure. He he came. I know I would. He came so close, so close at um the Roval the season before, and. For him to come out, and I mean, he put on a clinic, and he did it all week long in practice. Uh, you came in second again. I think this was it your third of the season. Third, yeah, second, yeah. second to start the season, and then third, second place here at Tegi. No, this was my fourth. Was it your fourth? My second would have been at the Motegi Oval. Oh right, right, yeah. So that, two, that would have been third. So. I know. Two second places in the same night. I think Paul, yeah, Paul finished seventh in both races, by the way. So you got upstaged kind of by Paul also finishing in the same position twice. Um, Chad Streeter and Andy Politsky, I guess they are, it's just, I should just say Andy. Everybody knows Andy by this point. Um, they had a, I guess they had quite the battle also. They led two laps apiece, and I guess they ran each other off the track battling, and Michael Crawl just, Drove by him and threw up the peace sign. All right, so this is what happened. I was right behind him. Uh, <laughs> I was in third. We come around one and two, which is a couple of right-handers. Double double so, apex right-hander, a, yeah. A big, long, straight stretch into three, which is a big, long left-hander. It's very deceiving. <laughs> it comes up quickly. So Andy and Streeter were side-by-side. Side. And uh, Andy dives it to the inside. Uh, pretty desperate. Uh, he had had his computer had disconnected at the oval, so he finished last. Uh, so he was, you know, looking big picture at points. He's pretty desperate. Uh, he threw it in, and it didn't stick. And he and Streeter both uh, went wide into the grass. So I'm in third, and I should be, you know, the person that swoops in to take the lead. But what I do know. I do? I know what happens I, now. I watch them drive off the track. 
and I followed them. Off the track. Your your points champion, ladies and gentlemen. I straight up was so in awe of what was happening in front of me that I just followed their tire tracks almost perfectly. So Michael Kroll goes fourth to first in one turn, and no one ever even sniffs him again. Yeah, I was gonna say he checked out after that. I'm 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 convinced that's what would have happened, anyways. Um, yeah, he 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 had gained that was what lap five. He had already gained like three seconds on me. He was within a second of me as it was as it was. <laughs> yeah, he was. Um, he was gonna pass me that lap, uh, and I was only like two and a half seconds back of the of the top two. So uh, I I feel like. I would have liked to have seen, you know, the three-way battle between the three of them, um, but I, I, I would have had my money on Carl anyways. The, he was he was fast. Yeah, I, I would have also. I botched both my qualifying laps, and I ended up starting dead last. <laughs> and uh, not, hey, but, where, but where did you finish? I finished sixth. That seat, there you go. I almost had a top five, and best part, zero X. Uh, yeah, so when I ran off the... Uh, the uh, the course that was my first X of the season. Yeah, that's why I said it. I was really upset. I was really I was really hoping I could pull a top five out of that, and I I think if I start anywhere other than last, if I if I don't screw up in qualifying, I, there's a good chance I get a top five. Yeah, you would have top five. Um, Finish, finishing fifth, but you were you were some sandbagging and testing all week. In our practices. I was. I was. I somebody had, somebody had running terrible laps. Oh, I'm, I suck at this. And, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I, and all of a sudden, he goes and pops off a lap. It's like a second faster than everybody. I practiced really hard at Motegi by myself a lot. Um, a lot of trial and error, and it definitely paid off. I'm happy it did. That was a. Sp- after running like crap at the Oval, I was thoroughly convinced I was going to get wrecked at turn one, regardless. So uh, I was pretty <laughs> that, happy with that. That was hard, too. It was half in the dark. So, I mean, yeah. you had a lot of these, these apexes and these turns that were not lit at all. I was lit. Um, <laughs> not, uh, I was lit coming through the field, man. I was pumped. Um, <laughs> Next week was the Stand Up to Cancer 105 at Texas Motor Speedway. This event was extremely special. Um, I think it was Andy's sponsored race, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Um, everybody, I, I, everybody um, has had a life, or has had their life touched by cancer in some way or another. Um, I know Nathan, it was his first race back since he had a, a back a back issue he had to deal with and he literally could not sit he had to end up having to get a new seat for it his sim rig um he comes out and he wins with a picture of his grandma on his truck um uh, i mean that's special out, out of cancer yeah she passed away from cancer and that's that's a special moment i mean that's a moment that you know you have the guy who's a two-time champ and he's friends with everybody it seems like and oh, I mean we're all friends in the league and uh come out in a race that's very important to him uh gets the win after a hard six weeks five weeks uh doing all the rehab and stuff that was, like, well, that, that was race seven race eight race eight yeah this, well, he, week his seven. Last one, race two. it's week seven race eight so yeah he missed five weeks yeah and six and six races yeah, so I mean that was that was a big moment. Uh, Ryan finishes second, but leads the most laps with twenty nine. My third Nathan, straight second place. Imagine that. Nathan Nathan Loki baited you. Uh, made, he bit yeah. a lap. He bit a, he bit a lap earlier than you did. That was kind of funny. We're uh, in team. You can go on uh, state line sim racing or car inside and listen to the audio of this race. And boy, we are really talking hard. He and I about how we're going to pit together and we're going to you know we're going to do all this stuff and then. All of a sudden, I look up in my mirror, and there's the black truck behind me, peeling off onto pit road. And I went, "I just lost this race." Um, yeah, Jeremy Fun. McKinnon. Fun Jeremy time. McKinnon fin- finished third. I think he's. I guess he's spun getting onto pit road. I'm genuinely curious where what or uh, what would have happened had he not spun getting onto pit road. Because I said think so. about the time he lost by spinning onto pit road, yeah. Uh, it would have put him right on your guys' back bumper, which would have yeah. been interesting. 
Uh, Carson finishes fourth. I pull out another top five somehow. I don't even know. I, a lot of stuff happened at that race. A lot of stuff happened at that race. Um. Yep. Yep. That was the. Uh, yep. Yep. That yep, was the race. Yeah. That was the race. Um. Next was Bristol Dirt. None of your beeswax on dirt. Shout out Steve Roman. None of your beeswax. You said his theory. name right. I'm so proud of I you. I did. I'm professional. Um. Steve, if you see this, I need to buy a jar of honey because I'm never gonna win one. Um, hey, we're at Bristol, we're at Bristol uh, the, the concrete version this year, and you almost won that in I season did. two. So. I did. I need to not get wrecked first. We'll see. Uh, that that damn 51 truck again, though. Back-to-back -back weeks gets the win. Ryan, I don't know how you finished fourth, because I, did I, I didn't see you all race, but all I heard was, oh, God, I'm spinning again. And I didn't even know you spun a first time. Um, yeah. Um, yep. So, um, yep. That was uh, hard. The first race. time, the first time I, uh, I think Andy was spinning in front of me or was sideways. I don't think he fully spun, but he was sideways. And I checked up and, uh, our teammate, uh, Buchanan County sexiest man, Eric Breeding, uh, was behind me and he didn't see the wreck happening. So, uh, he, he got me. Um, that was the second one. Actually, sorry, the first one. I had these on. Um, and the way I run dirt, I let the wheel slide through my hands a lot. Uh, and I didn't think about it. And I put my gloves on like I always, like I started to do. And my, the wheel was just getting stuck in my hands. So I went, you know, threw it in there and went to let it slide back to the right through my, uh, through my hands. It didn't happen. So the wheel just stayed hard left and I spun myself out. Uh, then the second one was the Eric one. I almost went a lap down. Um, actually, I did go a lap down, and I got the lucky dog late to get back on the lead lap. And then Jeremy spun me <laughs> late. Um, so yeah, I I don't I don't know how I finished as well as I did either. Um, but More I'll take power. it. More power to you. Uh, that was a tough one. I mean, you talk about tough races for championship contenders. Andy, I mean, my you go twin ring. The first race has the disconnect just before the race starts, um, which kills him. And then at the at the at the road course, a chance to win ends up fourth. And then you go to Texas Motor Speedway, speeds up, sp speeds on pit road twice. There we go. I just talked yeah. about how professional I am. Uh, finishes 20th. And then uh, another race where he was really good. He's he's really top, good on top dirt. Top five, top uh, five, top six all day. Top five, top six all day. Until he, uh, comes I think he, well, he, he flipped onto pit road, didn't he? <laughs> I think him and Sam, he like, or like got loose and hit, hit Sam Dunaway, or Sam Dunaway got loose and hit him. One of the two. I don't remember which way it was. Uh, and he got flipped up onto the barrels. Yeah, on the barrels, yeah. Yeah. Um, we also got one of the biggest sends of all time in this race. Brandon Byers led 48 laps of this race. Um, do you have the footage? Can you show it right now? I, I think I do. It should have been, you know. You can show it. it the more been, times you can show this, the better, because it was like the most was, full send of all time. It was incredible. There's not he's, a chance he's making it. No, he's not called King Send for nothing, by the way. Um, man, I should have put that in the highlight package to start the video. I'll fix it later. Um, <laughs> I mean, I don't think he let out of the gas until after he hit the wall and bounced back down the track. But uh, that was impressive. That was that was quite the send. I was, was. proud. I was proud. That man's. I thought, I thought he was going to win, and honestly, if there wasn't a late yellow, he probably I think does. he might. Have, I think he probably does win. If we don't throw the comp caution with twenty to go to stack yeah. things back up for some god awful reason, I don't know why. Um. I wrecked the back half of the field on the second lap. Sorry again, Jan and Crawl and Brantley Ganey. Uh, <laughs> my bad. Literally on lap two. <laughs> I, I got in there and I got in a little hot. And uh, yeah, it, it was not pretty. Uh, I couldn't see anything in my heat race, which kind of screwed me. I could not see the track. So I should have made sure my set. 
I sat on the pole of my heater. Sat on the pole. And, and then I spun out immediately because I started on the slick. Because I couldn't see the slick. Because yeah, it looked we didn't like... Have uh, computer settings, right? Yep. Yep. Looked like the track state was zero percent. So I really screwed myself, and then really screwed a bunch of people over. My bad. I'm off. <laughs> um, man. In the next week. Oh, did I say that? Yeah, I did say the sponsor that race. Next yep. week, Darlington race ten. <gasps> Young reindeer's birthday extravaganza sponsored by Buffalo Wild Wings, aka the Throwback Race, baby. The longest um, title. Longest freaking <laughs> title in Venom. Um, I, w I will point out if something that I noticed about this. Um, this I can't think of anything race. eventful that happened in this race. I can't either. Uh, Ryan, you finished second again. Uh, imagine that. Imagine that. Um, the people Wait, that it's I, my last second. Two of the people that I thought were going to win the race did not win the race, and it surprised me, but they both ran into the same issue. Um, sorry. <laughs> I mean, uh, it is what it is, right? I it, mean, is, uh, it was racing. It was racing. Um, and it started a week's long feud. <laughs> <laughs> longer than a week, but... Um, man, shout out Michael Dean. Michael Dean and put on a show. I don't think he qualified the greatest, but man, he was up front all day long at one of his best tracks. Jeremy McKinnon... Screwed up in qualifying twice and didn't get a chance to show how good he is. I guess they're both superstars at Darlington. Um, Michael Dean flew by me like I was sitting still one. <laughs> yeah, you're just... I remember you going, yeah, I'm just going to let Michael Dean go by. Uh -huh. <laughs> he checked out. I came out of the pits after green flag pit stops, and I think I was a second behind him. And then the next thing I know, I look down, and Ryan's ahead of me, and I'm like, Ryan, where'd Michael Dean go? And you're like, I already let him by. Um... Dude was gone. Dude was, he was on a freaking mission. Um, so, um, very sad to report Michael Dean did not win this race. It would have been very popular. Very there was popular. a moment in this race at Darlington where we went four wide. Yeah, I don't know who would do that. Definitely not the same person that would take everybody three wide at Bristol. It may have happened. Um, <laughs> yep, I won somehow. I get a fancy trophy. I held off the points points winner championship. Does that make me the points champion if I held you off? No. Okay. Well, I tried. Um, you did hold me off. I. Uh, I got lucky. I'm convinced. I got to your. I got to your bumper. And I, I'm obviously not going to wreck you. Um, yes, yeah, so I got to your bumper, and I it was like once I got there, I couldn't get by you. And then uh, I looked down, the next thing I know, and you're like two seconds ahead of me. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, then I, then I just went into save mode to, to not uh, lose second. And then I hit the wall about eight times in the last... <laughs> yeah, I thought you were, were going to give it to me in the last four laps when you hit yeah. the wall in like... You only hit it going down the back stretch. What are you doing? I tried. I tried really hard. Uh, you, I used... watch this. you need to go stop the video, pause it right now. We'll wait for you. And go to John K, uh, well, JK is, Gaming on Twitch this, and this go, is, go no, watch it's, it's, the end. It's on my YouTube. It's not on YouTube. It's okay. It's on go my to JK Gaming on YouTube and watch his end car of the last 10 laps and talk about the most nervous human being you've ever seen. Like, anytime somebody spoke, John K is like, <laughs> it wasn't even I kept waiting for people to be like oh god there's a crash and I was about yep. to be like not again um, having flashbacks to Bristol which was this. so this is funny I got a Bristol was race 9 the season before um, and I led 81 laps Bristol dirt was race 9 this season I was really good there if I hadn't started in the back who knows what would have happened. I'm not saying I would have won, but I would have been up front again. And then week 10, I came closer to winning at Michigan than I did at Bristol. You can make the argument. Uh, and then week 10 in season three is at Bristol where I'm leading coming to the end of the race and end up winning. Scary parallels. Or not scary, but weird. Weird parallels. Race 9 to race 10 in both seasons.
So it's something about cool. week nine and ten with you. So if we go look at the schedule, <laughs> what's week nine and ten? I'm very excited. And, and technically, week nine is the All Star race. I'm gonna win the All Star race. Let's go. Week ten, however, is the Daytona Road Course. I'm gonna actually, if it holds the form, I would be really good at the All Star race and lose in very sad fashion, and then win at the Road Course, which ain't no way in hell that's gonna happen. <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that was that was, that race was doubly special because I was running the rowdy throwback that Nathan had. Yep. Our Nathan ran the rowdy burn scheme from Days of Thunder, the famous fifty-one car. Uh, if you bend this bitch, I'll tear your balls off. Yeah, that that car. He ran that at Bristol, and I helped that scheme off for eighty laps, for forty laps, um, somehow, and then. He wrecked half the field, and then I don't think he finished the race, but, you know, to come back at Darlington the next season in that scheme where I kind of had my like, breakout race, I guess. I don't know if you want to call it that, but um, it was First ever cool. win. I would call it your breakout race. Well, Darlington was my first ever win, but well, Brist true. Bristol was kind of like the, uh, the, hey, I can do this. So it was cool to have the scheme that I was racing against for probably a good majority of that race. Uh, and have that on the truck and take that to victory lane. That was pretty cool. Uh, and then next week was Talladega, which was wild. Uh, it was Talladega. The most, the most boring finish ever. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I would. What was the final margin of def of, uh, of of victory there? Zero. Zero point zero zero zero. Point zero zero zero. It's in the highlight uh, package. Somewhere, somewhere down there, there's a, a one. Michael Dean <laughs> Michael Dean loses in heartbreaking fashion back-to-back -back weeks. Uh, I was I was telling Nathan to push him so bad. Uh, like we, we, all, we all like Andy, but I don't I don't know that too many people were pulling for Andy in that, in yeah, that moment. I've straight up told Andy, like, listen, dude, I like you, but I was rooting hard for Michael Dean, uh, especially after he wrecked me, so... Michael Dean, just know you're loved because even though you wrecked me again, every time me and every time I wreck, Michael Dean is around me and somehow we get together. It never fails. It never fails. Uh, Ryan, you finished ninth. Oh, seventh. Technically, I finished. Technically, I finished seventh because of oh. penalties. So penalties. You finished. Nathan, seven. Nathan, and Carson got penalties. Oh well. They're bums. For for switching lanes on the restart. Yeah. Uh that that man. That whole last You know all laps, about that penalty. You know about I that do. penalty, don't you? I do, I do, I do. Um man, Talladega was a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to Daytona. I don't I'm not I like Talladega more than Daytona. Not... <laughs> Daytona's Daytona's a little tighter than Talladega, which makes yeah. me a little nervous, but Yeah. Remember what happened the last time I went to Daytona? No. I, I think you do. <laughs> I, I don't. I didn't know anybody. I got bub drafted by Nathan. That was pretty cool. Before I knew who he was. I just saw Nathan Reynolds C after spending all day reading through the Discord. And I'm like, oh god, that's the dude that's like won the championship. That's kind of terrifying. <laughs> now he's my friend. Life's weird, man. <laughs> Life is weird. Um... Next up, oh, that was the Golden Eagle Syrup Red Diamond Pride of Alabama 65, by the way, at Talladega. Um, that race, there was a while there for it. It looked like that race was going to go green the whole way, too. Yep. And uh, it almost did. And then I think Garrett and David Fay got together, and then Super Speedway stuff happened after that, and it did not go green at the end. Imagine that it devolved into a, a plate track, devolved into a plate race. Imagine that. Um... Shout out Cole Maxwell. He led 23 laps, and I thought he was gonna get the, I thought he was gonna get the win there for a minute, and then Carson turned him on accident. Kind of the same thing that happened between me and Michael Dean. He just kind of Cole was a little out of shape. Carson got to him in the middle of the corner. That happened. Uh, Andy, my, I, he tried to block Carson up to the wall. Michael Dean followed him. I wish. I mean, Nathan tried to follow Michael Dean. It was it was a nuts ending. It was. 
like there's just so much stuff that happened between that top four. Uh, Brandon Byers came home with a top five, by the way. I never noticed that. Um, Look at him carrying super kick. Well, actually, if we want to get technical, he finished third because of penalties. There you go. That's pretty impressive. Uh, and then the next week, North Wilkesboro Speedway. Honestly, outside of Darlington, this m this may have been my favorite race of the year. Outside of Darlington, I don't. It's tough because Kentucky and the and the road court Montegi Road was a lot of fun. But, Wilkesboro uh, was was very fun. Uh, right. And then at the end, at the end, it wasn't fun for me. And then it was fun again. Yeah, it was. It was not fun. Uh, Greg Elliott. Super kick teammate gets his first career win, led 51 laps. Garrett finishes second for the second time. Uh, he's gonna have a breakthrough this year or this season. I'm convinced he's too good at short tracks to not have a breakthrough. Uh, Andy finishes third, which closed up the championship gap. I think you'll have to, yeah, I think it closed it up some heading to Homestead to where you nope, it's actually. Um, oh, did you clinch it? I, I, I finished fourth right behind him. Oh. Um, and that was all I needed. I needed, no matter where Andy finished, as long as he didn't win, if I finished one spot behind him, I could start Homestead and win the title just by starting the race. Wow. So it was locked up. Did what I had to Wilkesboro. do. It was. Did what you had to do. Um. After getting turned. Turned. Kyle Dumick, right? You and Dumick got together. Me and Dumick, um, it's my fault. 100%. Uh, Cole was on the outside. Um, Dumig was on the inside. They separated coming off of two, and I was pretty fast. Um, and I tried to shoot the gap between the two of them. And, uh, oh, look, it's your dog. Yeah, my dog's barking. Dog, stop barking. <laughs> I tried to shoot the gap. Uh, didn't work. Not enough room there. Um, they got spun out. Luckily, I, I barely touched the wall. I mean, almost no damage. And then after that, I was way too aggressive trying to get back up. Through. What was that? Hold chill. That's going to be a gift tomorrow <laughs> or whenever you release this. Uh, Probably. Monday, whatever day you release it. Um, and then I, I wrecked uh, Paul Sargent. Sorry, Paul. I, I hit the curb. <laughs> Again, trying to... Trying to take people three wide, and I hit the curb and uh, washed up into the side of him. <laughs> that works really I, well. I got more aggressive in the last 30 laps of Wilkesboro than I've been uh, in three seasons of Venom total. So yeah. that's, my, that's on me. But I, I really wanted to make sure I went to Homestead um, without having to worry. Ooh, those fresh tires at Wilkesboro made a difference. They did. Yep. Especially when you go from second to last on the lead lap. Um, <laughs> genius. Don't switch lanes before the start finish line on restarts, kids. Um, yeah. It's a thing. It is a thing. I could add a. I could add my fourth top five of the year, which was my goal. Uh, I missed it, but I won a race, which made up for it. Um, and then Homestead, Miami. The champion for a cure 94 dis presented by the Dystonia Medical Research Foundation. Um, you could have started it and parked it. You were very sick. You did not. You raced. You came home with your 10th top five of the year, finishing fourth. You also led the most laps, which was 46. Jeff Langston brings home the W, leading 39 laps. Uh, a nice welcome back for Jeff his, I think, only race in season three. Yep. Yep. And he won it. He's gonna be a force next season too. Man, it's gonna be, next season's gonna be nuts. Uh, Kyle Zittle with a third place. Nathan finishes second. What a really decent finish by It'll Kyle Zittle. A really decent third place for Claire. Uh, I'd like he, to see. Yeah, he, uh, he flat out drove past me in the final laps of that race. I would like to um, see Zittle get a win. Me that too. Way, that way he doesn't have to be really decent anymore. Then, then, then he'll be... Nah, he'll always be really uh, decent. He'll, he'll be above decent. Uh, he'll always be really decent. Um, 
Anything spectacular? I don't think anything spectacular. Miami go green the whole way? Uh, sure no, there, there was a late caution right there at the end. Oh, was there? Oh, was... Um, oh yeah, there it was because I got late. It was green. It was green for like ninety percent of it, and then there was a late caution. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it's good. It is. It, 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 I mean, you know, not a. Overly exciting race, which was good for me. <laughs> yeah, it it was it was very not exciting, but I mean, I guess to end kind of a wild season, that's what we needed. It was just a nice normal race with no no uh, anything going on, no fist fights in the pits afterwards. Basically, I was I was absolutely sick in that race though. Yeah, you were you were messed up pretty bad. Well, I think it sucks. Um, yeah, I turned off my camera on my stream for that race because I didn't want somebody to see me puke. Yeah, uh, if I was gonna puke during the middle of the race, so you can't see my reaction to winning the championship. That's gross. I cried when I won Darlington. By the way, I don't know if anybody saw that. I cried cry when I won Dover. I 100 percent cry when I won Dover. Yeah, I, I don't blame you. It's not easy to win. It's, it's not, not easy, easy to win this league. league. It's not easy to win in this league, especially when you're unless you're Nathan or Jeff yeah. or Andy. Screw them. Three, the, the three of them account for over 50% of the wins this week. I'm going to have to start winning somewhere. If anybody wants to don donate, I will put my PayPal in the description of this video. Help me get a get a direct drive wheel and good pedals, and I can whip everybody. All he needs is one of these. I would like one of those. That would be nice. I'm going to get one someday. Probably won't be racing in Venom when I get it, but that's okay. Well, we going to kick you out or something? I don't know. It'd probably be like 20 years from now. I'll probably have a real race car by that point. My God. Oh, oh okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm never... I, I don't know if I'll ever have the money for that. Um. Yeah, what a crazy end of the year. Michael Dean ends up fourth in the points. Carson's third. You and Andy, obviously, one and two. Garrett finishes sixth in a really quiet season for Garrett. Um, Jeremy finishes seventh. Michael Crawl, all top ten in points. Cole Maxwell, top ten in points. And I just glossed over the fact that you were fifth. Yeah, nobody cares. Um, Kyle Zittle finished 11th. What a just crazy season. Um, I'm happy it's over. <laughs> as bad <laughs> as that sounds. It, I think at that point we all were. Uh, uh, it, was, it was very hectic and stressful and all sorts of stuff going a on. Very, a very trying end of the season. But we made it happen. And uh, like it gets talked about once every episode. Um, and we're a family around here. And... We take care of each other, and that's what we do. And we all made sure we got through it just fine. And I'm pretty proud of us for doing that. Yeah, me too. We did fantastic as a group. Uh, but now, season four, we're recording this on the 13th, so it's 11 days away. The Four Horsemen. The Four Horsemen. We're gonna start it out at Daytona. Racing under the lights. I heard there's going to be duels. Is that true? Uh, I believe so. I believe we are going to do duels. Uh, we're not going to qualify. We're just going to let it randomly select the field, uh, split it in half. Uh, you know, heat one will be the uh, the inside, and heat two will be the outside. And ten, I think we're going to go ten laps, no cautions, and um, see where you start to race at. The last time we did this, Carson wrecked me, and we both started in the back and me and Carson drove up to the front. So I'm um, Carson, don't wreck me in the duel, but <laughs> hit me up. We'll work together. Uh then a return to the Monster Mile in Dover week two. We don't have the sponsors for the races, I don't think, but we'll have them soon. They're not listed anywhere, I don't think. Uh we do. They are. Um oh, never mind. Well all right, well Daytona is the uh, Venom, Venom World, World 170. 175. 70 laps, 175 in the race. Uh, some of these will get changed because of the news we're going to drop in a minute. Um, right, cool. We can't have uh, real sponsors this season in our titles. I got to change mine then. It's likely just the uh, the presented by Fago on yours will just have to disappear. Yeah. We'll Ooh. get there in a second. Okay. Um. The, so we have Dover. Which this is will be the. It'll be the stop. Stop the stigma. One thirty-two. That's what this will be. 
Stop the Stigma 132. Then we have Iowa, race number three, the 165 presented by... <laughs> I, I, yeah, I don't know what he's going to rename that one. Um, we'll see. Then Michigan, we have 80 laps there, race four of the season. Venom Cast 160 presented by probably me because what else is there? Um, right. Martinsville, race five, under the lights, 150 laps around the paper clip. It's going to be a trying, trying night. Uh, the Dodge Duck Dip Dive and Dodge Invitational 150 presented by ESPN8. I wonder if we can keep them the same, but they just can't say them on the broadcast. Maybe. I don't know. You just completely spoiled our news, but, you know, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> hey, Ryan, what's that big news you wanted to talk about while we're in the middle of breaking up? Breaking news! Bam, 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 bam. We're being broadcasted this season. Oh, my God. Not by me, obviously. I'm gonna be no, racing. not by you. Uh, we have partnered with PTM Racing TV. Uh, they are going to broadcast our full, most, uh, we think our full season. There might be a couple races due to vacations and stuff that have to be missed. Um, but, yeah, we are, uh, we're going to be broadcast. Uh, they, will be, they will be put live on Facebook and then uploaded to YouTube once the race is completed. So, uh, multiple places you can watch it. Go like uh, PTM, yeah, PTM Racing TV, Pedal to the Metal is what that stands for. Um PTM Racing TV on Facebook, on YouTube, like them, subscribe to them, do all that fun stuff. And, uh, yeah, we're going to have our, our races broadcast to everybody this year, which I think will be fun. I spoiled it. Okay. Um, That's okay. I did all the breaking news stuff. It's cool. That was that was awesome. That's, my, uh, that's what I do in my life. This is why I don't get told important information. Uh, <laughs> next, we go to Watkins Glen for our first road course of the season. And that's right. I said first road course of the season. ICR presents the replica replicars.com 38. That might that'll probably change. That'll probably change for the broadcast. We'll just yeah. keep them the same. We'll just have a broadcast name for them. Right. Uh, race seven, Richmond, and the Virginia is for lovers 200. I'm excited. We didn't get to race at Richmond last season like we were supposed no, to. We pivoted and went to Auto Club instead. And it still it sucks. Um, then race eight, the halfway mark of the oh, I spoiled it again. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, race eight, Las Vegas at night, sponsored by Cole. Ninety nine laps at the most boring mile and a half there is. Sorry, Cole. Um, you think that's the most boring mile and a half. Yes, Charlotte's next, which is the All Star race, and it's Venom's Night of Stars All Star race. I will be there. I did something cool, so I get to join the. What are, the, uh, what are the rules to get into the to get into the All Star race, Ryan? Well, so with the, with especially if we keep all of our rookies this year and we have our high card count, it'll be anybody that's won a race, uh, any of your past champions, which obviously they're going to have won a race anyways. Um, and then I think people who've got a pole in the last year, and then top ten, uh, two. and then I, I think the top ten get in. If they're not already in, um, and then we'll do a uh, just like we'll do an open race, just like uh, they do in real life, and we'll take the top however many, and we'll uh, we'll have a field for the All Star race. That's gonna be a fun show. I heard there's a pretty. Are we doing? Do we have a format for it? Or are we just gonna? We do not have a format yet. We're working on that. We'll well when we get the news, we'll share it with you. Uh, that'll be fun. I'm very excited to partake in that. I was worried that I was going to get left out of an all-star race. I just had to go win real quick. <laughs> I got so lucky, dude. Uh, next, after our little break, it's the Daytona Road Course. 160 kilometers, which is the race for Space Coast. What the? Right? Yeah. The race, race for, for the Space Coast. The race for the Space Coast 160, presented by Space Coast Credit Union. Who sponsored that? Oh, I mean, it was technically unsponsored. I'm gonna um, jack your bank account. Bank account info now. I, what, what? You think I have a bank account with Space Coast Credit Union? I don't live in Florida. <laughs> oh, well, you never know. Do you know um, what the Space Coast is? Do you know what that is? No. History lesson. That's uh the stretch of beach. 
uh, in Florida around Cape Canaveral where they shoot rockets off. Oh, I could have guessed that then. NASA, SpaceX, Blue Origin, and all them. Just saw one of the sponsors. Very excited. Um, race 11, which will technically be race 10. Not race 10 of the regular season, week 11 race, of the season. Week 11 of the season, Chicago land, 110 laps. That'll be our pink out race. Fight Like a Girl 165, presented by the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. I'm I'm going to have to come up with something cool for that. I had a pink Hooters truck last, last time. We don't actually run in uh, October this season, so uh, we did, I think Chicago was the pink out race the last yep. time we did that. So yep. uh, I thought that was cool with a whole bunch of pink trucks. It's a really cool concept. Yeah. Uh, don't. Much, not. much like just a regular cancer race, uh, there's not too many people that haven't been touched in one way or another by breast cancer. So, right. Do not be the one person that doesn't have a pink truck. You will get yeah. by everybody else. Um, Texas is the endurance race. I thought 155 that, laps of Texas. I thought home. I'm glad it's not Homestead now because Homestead sucked last season. It sucked for me. Couldn't run the fence, but whatever. Texas. The hot, hotter than hell 155. I love it. I'm very excited for 155 laps around one of my favorite mile and a half tracks. Um, it's tough. It's tough it's track. Gonna, it's gonna be tough. I'm looking forward to it though. I think I think I have I have pretty decent long run speed. I could be all right there. Could be all right. Um, I think I had a top five at Texas last season. Maybe. Maybe. I'm pretty sure I did. I think I did. Jan finished sixth. The cool part is I can go look while you talk. Yeah, I was going to go look too, but I'll just keep reading stuff, doing my job. Uh, next, our non NASCAR track. You finished fifth. Is, that's what I thought. Is Myrtle Beach. The Young Reindeers Bash at the Beach, presented by B Dubs. 150 laps at Myrtle Beach. Um, it's probably going to be a lot like Wilkesboro, if I had to guess. Oh, no. No? No, no, this is going to be a lot like Lucas Oil. <laughs> oh, God, I'm going to hate my life. Never mind then. Have, have you ever raced at Myrtle Beach? I don't even own it. So, um, it's smaller than Wilkesboro. Um, and in turn one <laughs> and two, uh, to separate the apron from the track where the where you know, you're coming out of the pits, there are bumps, for lack of a better word. They're literal. It's like if you if they just paved over top of a bunch of basketballs in a row. It's just these little humps, and if you touch them with your tires, it's going to be a bad day for you. So I'm gonna die, is what I'm hearing. It will be a very fun race. Some of you may die. That's the sacrifice <laughs> I'm willing to make. Um, comment that movie below. <laughs> After that, we go to Homestead for our throwback race. I'm going to have to pull out some fire for that one. Uh, the Cracker Barrel, 141. And barrel is spelt wrong, if I'm not mistaken. Is it? I think so. I think barrel only has one. No. I'm probably wrong. Ah, hell, I don't know. No, it's got uh, two. Oh, is it one R? It looks weird. Oh no, Cracker Barrel only has one. Okay, never mind. Yeah. I'm not going crazy. Um, after Homestead, it is Talladega, sponsor claimed by the Great Bearded One Sixty Five. Um, not not One Sixty Five, but the Great Bearded One has a sponsor claim for that. AKA Garrett Rainey. AKA the Rain Man. Um, then we go to Bristol. It's paved and it's Week Sixteen. None of your beeswax 200. Steve Roman, again, the sponsor. The winner gets quite possibly the coolest trophy in all of Venom, which is a jar of honey. Ryan doesn't like honey. I don't like bees. I love honey. I will wreck honey. Andy, I'll wreck you to win the race. I'm just kidding. I have to get there first. And by get there, I mean get to Bristol. I might not make it. I might get kicked out before that. And then we're going to end the season at Atlanta. 105 laps sponsored by Car Inside, I'm assuming. 
Uh, Probably the car inside whatever mileage. Because Nathan likes to be sponsored by himself. The only caveat here is that um, this will be the the old version of Atlanta. So not yes. the super speedway version. If iRacing puts the super speedway version in the game by the time this comes around, we're, we're going to run the leg we'll run the legacy version of Atlanta. Um, if that's not an option, like at Phoenix, you can't run, you know, uh, it. You can't run like the 2018 Phoenix. You either get the 2012 or the new one. Um, if that's not an option, then I think Atlanta and Homestead will be changed, and Homestead will be the last race of the year. I'm throwing hands if they don't make it legacy. I love Atlanta. I don't run there. I don't run there enough, but I love it. Um, yeah, driver's that's our, track. it's a driver's track. That's our season. Um, 17 weeks, 16 regular season races. Hopefully I can win another race so I can lock myself into the next all-star race because I want to be cool. Or you can win a championship like I did. I'm locked in forever. Yeah, no, I don't care that much. Um, <laughs> real quick, obviously Ryan, our points champion for the season. Our paint scheme of the year was Jan Van Leer, the number driver of the number five, Chevrolet. His dodo scheme, that thing was sick. Like, that was off the chain. Ridiculously cool. I love Jan, but that's not bad, even his best paint scheme. Bad to the bone. I think it was. I think the Inca, also, the, the, Inca Cola, robbed. the Inca Cola one was sweet, but I really do think the dodo's truck was the coolest one of them all. Zittle got robbed. Should have been Zittle. <laughs> Love you, yeah, Jan. That, that Razor truck is nasty, too. Jan also won Sportsman of the Year. He so did. Shout out Jan. Jan is, Jan is the dude. He almost was our most popular driver, too. Could have, could argue that he got robbed there, also. Sorry. Speaking of our most popular driver. Yeah, nobody cares about him, though. Um, Most improved driver, Kyle Dumick. Very well-deserved. I can't wait to see Dumick keep getting better and better. Um, yep. I'm very excited. I'm very excited. He He's getting there, and I want him to get all the way there, which will happen. Um, and our Rookie of the Year, I don't know if he's on a team this season. Uh, uh, he, he is a free agent right now, but he is working on something. His double trouble racing went under. Something about illegal Canadian bacon or something. Something like that. I don't know. Um, there's no telling with Brantley Ganey. The dude's hilarious when he's around. Um, he helped me make a TikTok that's pretty banging. So thanks. Speaking of rookies, <laughs> the season most, four. Most underrated uh, thing. Yeah, tell us about our rookies for season four, Ryan. Uh, I don't know, 12 of them? Is that right? Oh my God, what's wrong with this? Um. Let's just count them. Stephen Durham, William Salomon, Rodney Roberts, Nick Weaver, Carter, Jokel, Ryan Pittman, James Field, Chris Klein, Daryl Dillon, Tristan Underwood, Corey Rutherford, and Pascal Seamard, who's Canadian. I know that um, Corey, I know that Corey Rutherford guy. He's a he's a hoot to race with. Uh, so yeah, those are our rookies. Uh, they get added to our regular batch of drivers. We also brought back in obviously Jeff. Um, Kevin Steve. and Paul Sargent have come back in. Uh, so right, the moose is loose again in Venom. We get, uh, the, we get in the double zero back or not? Um, he is back in the league, uh, but he is also he? has another league that he's racing. Oh, okay, I couldn't remember um, if it was him. Or I'm something. not sure exactly how many races he'll get to run. Um, but when he does, I do believe he is also on Raging Moose Racing. I like running with Steve. Yep. Even though he kind of scared me the first time when we wrecked at Atlanta, and I didn't hear him say anything after I said I was sorry, and I thought I ran him into the wall. I didn't, thankfully. Not hated. Yay. Yay. Um, yeah, and then this doofus one most popular driver. You won. Um, I'm proud of you. Thank you. I won twice this season. I'm surprised. Yeah, you, get, you get two trophies. Ooh. I'm a trophy hunter. That's all I care about. I'm validated finally. I don't have a participation trophy. Um, any other big news? Oh yeah, super kicks no more. 
Yeah, several teams have folded. Uh, Outlaw is no more. Super Kick is no more. Double Trouble Double, is no more. Double Trouble is no more. Um, I think those might be the three that disappeared. Uh, we have added new teams. Super Kick uh, was rebranded, in essence. Uh, John K, that guy, now drives for Billy Bad Butt Motorsports, or 3BM, as they will be called. Yes, sir. Very excited. Uh, we also, um, new team in Work in Progress Racing. That's the rookie, Corey Rutherford. They are in a technical alliance with Zittle Inc., which makes no sense because Zittle Inc. drives Toyotas and Corey drives a Chevy, but Paul however used they want to... <laughs> Paul used to drive Chevys. That's where it comes from. Well, yeah, I'm sure. And like I said, Rachel Moose Racing is back. Um, Broke Guy Racing... Broke Guy Racing just announced that uh, Jeff Langston will now be driving for them. That's a powerhouse of a team. Uh... They are coming for RNS's team championship trophy. RNS won the team championship. Ford oh, won yeah. the manufacturer championship. We didn't mention that, but I clicked on that. Meant to say it. Uh, is this a bad time to announce that 3BM's driving Toyotas? You are not. No, I'm just kidding. We're not. I. We almost did, but that's because we need more Toyota teams, and let's make John spend money. Yay! No, I'm. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. Um, it was a thought, though. I mean, just to kind of even it out, but we did not. Plus, my trucks are my trucks are now painted, which we got to talk about afterwards. But we got to talk about the one, but the other two look really sweet. We got to make some. We got to do something with the third one. I don't know what yet. I I don't know what either. Wait. We'll figure it out. I think I have an idea. Um, I think that's everything, Ryan. Oh. Favorite moment from season three, besides Michael Crawl winning, because that's everybody's. I don't know. Uh, a single, I don't know a single person that was mad that Michael Crawl won. I think that was the most popular one in Venom history, right after uh, Your Dover win. Might be even more popular. Maybe. Um, it's tough, tough to say. Favorite moment. I'll leave myself out of it with the Kentucky win, obviously. Um, my favorite moment was probably like me and Carson battling at uh, Motegi Oval. That, that that last restart was uh was some of the most fun racing that I'd done in Venom ever. Uh, just two two guys on fresh tires duking it out and uh, letting them hang. Let yeah, letting it hang. I mean, I I came off a of four on that last lap. Almost dead sideways, doing everything I could to get to him. So uh, that would be mine. What's yours? I don't. Uh, I'm not going to take the easy way out and say darling. Right. Cream. Although um, that was that the end of that race was insane. Going uh, going three wide, two rows deep with you, Michael Dean, Carson, Kyle. Um, that was wild. Uh, I don't know. Wilkesboro was a lot of fun. I wish I hadn't screwed myself. But I was I was fast at Wilkesboro. Had a lot of fun. I think the end the, of Dega. The end of Dega. The end of Dega would have been a lot more fun if I finished the race. Not necessarily right. one, but if I'd have been a part of that finish, not wrecked, riggedy wrecked myself. Um, man, I, Kentucky. I'm gonna go with Kentucky. That was fun. Uh, I thought of, I genuinely I. <laughs> I genuinely thought about taking Jeremy McKinnon three wide on the outside into turn one. <laughs> I had such a good run, and I really thought about it, and then I ended up... Uh, I hit him with a crossover the next lap and passed him, which was equally as sick, but I don't know. No, I don't think I would have ran you down, but I think if I'd have got around you, him and Garrett were both hurt pretty bad. Uh, I don't know if I'd have got to you, but probably not. I'd like to think I could have got close, but not all the way there. Right. But yeah, Kentucky. Mainly because that's the only other one I really remember. <laughs> that was... Wow. wow, season three is over. We're on to season four. Um, the broadcast. Yeah. Broadcast. Oh, I, I should mention, um, broadcasts aren't free. Uh, they cost yeah. a lot of money. A lot more than yeah. what you think they do. Yeah. Uh, 
I will not name who, but a member of our league footed the bill for the entire season. That's crazy. Uh, he wishes to remain anonymous, and I will respect that, but I do want to shout him out right now. Because um, without that, I mean, we're not being broadcast because there's no way that we could come up with that kind of money. Yeah, that's uh, crazy. That's... So uh, all he said was he wanted to have fun and he wanted to, he loves this league and he wants to see it take the next step. And he thought that was a good place to go. So thank you to him. I can't wait to say a cuss word on TV when I inevitably somehow back my way into a third place finish. <laughs> Probably shouldn't do that. I'm going to try my best not to. Uh, <laughs> That's all I got. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy the video. I got a bunch of other iRacing stuff if you're just randomly coming across this. Make sure to follow State Line Sim Racing on YouTube. Subscribe to that man over there. Do not unsubscribe from Car Inside. Go. Uh, unsubscribe immediately from Car Inside if you're watching this. Don't do it. Im immediately. Um, and yeah, we're back. Not this coming Tuesday, but next Tuesday. Yep. We're almost there. Peace out, Venom. See y'all in a couple weeks. All we did is We were in sync. That's going in the podcast.